Hi, it's Raymond Aaron, and welcome to the cruise. Actually, this is the cruise, but I happen to be in one of our ports of call, the amazing Atlantis Hotel in the Bahamas. And in this brief video, I'm going to tell you the seven things you got to know that you may not know to prepare for and have a great time on the Business Cruise 2016. Thing, I'll be very brief because I've told you many times before you should get travel and cancellation insurance. You can contact my travel agent, Avro Bets, or you can use any travel agent in the entire world, but I recommend that you get it. The second topic is children. Now, you can bring kids and they can attend the conference at no extra charge and under 12 they're completely free and 12 to 18 there's a very small fee and there's, there's tax on top of that but it's very small. So if you want to bring their kids, you can come to the, they can come to the conference if you think it's appropriate or they can stay with you when you're not at the conference or they can go to the age appropriate camps which are terrific on the Divina. But there's a scarcity thing that I need you to know about because I don't want you to be disappointed. And that is there's a small number of rooms on the Divina that have the capacity to have an extra bed for kids and there's an even smaller number of cabins that have the capacity for two extra beds. So if you're thinking of bringing one or two kids, you have to notify us immediately so that we can allocate a particular room to you that has the capacity for the extra beds. That's about kids. And flights are really critical because the cruise ship takes off and lands at a certain time and you have to know what that is. So on Saturday, May 21st, boarding is between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. and it's a half an hour, the berth for the Divina is half an hour from Miami International Airport, that's MIA. So you need to arrive in time to get there at that time for boarding. And then at the end of the trip, Saturday, May 28th, the ship docks, but you may not be the first one off. So you need to estimate that you'll be off at 9 o'clock a.m., maybe 9.30 a.m., which means you shouldn't have a departure any earlier than 12 p.m. noon on Saturday, May 28th. The fifth point is passport. Yes, you need a passport, no matter what country, you hold the passport of, you must have a passport because we're going to be going into several different countries. And the sixth point is other travel documents. For Canada and the United States, you don't need any other travel document. For United Kingdom, you do. You need what's called an electronic travel authorization and you get it online. If you look, if you just Google that or if you look inside the email that I sent you, you can see exactly how to get to the form that you complete in order to get that authorization. And, and finally, number seven, motion sickness. If you wish to get some medicine or homeopathic remedies in advance to prevent or cure motion sickness, please do. I'm not going to be doing it, and I'll tell you why. Because it's a brand new ship, and it has the most advanced gyroscopic stabilization features of any ship. So it's unlikely there's going to be any difficulty whatsoever. On top of that, if there is difficulty, there is a ship doctor on board filled with all kinds of motion sickness uh, remedies. But if you wish to go to your doctor in advance, please do. And those are the seven things you need to know in order to prepare for and enjoy a great time on Business Cruise 2016. If you wish to bring a friend, have your friend contact Laura at Aaron.com. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can contact Laura at Aaron.com. Can't wait to see you on the cruise.